the ropes this morning. They are paddling out on the Willamette in the rain ahead of this weekend's <laughs> Rose Festival Dragon Boat Races. Drew, I, I see he's actually doing it too. Yes, I am doing it. And we have done this Dragon Boat business before, Ashley and Brenda. I have to be honest with you. I kind of prefer it during one of those sunny mornings. <laughs> we have one of those rainy mornings with us here on a Thursday with the Wilson High School students who will be dragon boating this coming weekend. The Portland Rose Festival Dragon Boat races are this Saturday and Sunday right here along the Willamette River, 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. both days. If you're not participating, it is a great event to watch and you can do so right along the waterfront here in downtown Portland. I stopped paddling because I really need to focus on the broadcast aspect of this segment. And I'm going to allow Cameron to stop paddling as well. Cameron is one of the three senior captains of this Wilson High team. Uh, so popular this dragon boating is with your schoolmates that you have two boats in the field this weekend. Uh, we're on the boat known as Sea Chickens. The boat just beyond us there, the Green Wave. Uh, so and let me ask you, I know this isn't a sanctioned sport within uh, the Wilson High School community. You're, you're a club. So how does that work exactly? Does the students govern? The sport then? Three. Yeah, so Two. that pretty much means we can write whatever we want on our t-shirts, no matter how inappropriate it is, <laughs> or, you know, I don't know, it makes it a lot simpler. We can just do whatever we want, which is really fun. I think it's crazy that just yesterday you graduated high school. You were no longer a student, technically, yeah. at Wilson because you graduated up all night with one of those senior parties, partying until about three in the morning, and then here you are with us again right now. So how do you feel? I feel so energized right now. I don't know why. I just, I'm happy to be here. I was really excited to do this. So. <laughs> You're getting loopy is what that's called. Yeah, I'm getting I've been there before. <laughs> uh, tell me about the actual <laughs> art of the paddling, because I would like to rejoin the group this morning. What okay. are the tricks to this? All right, well, so you're gonna be wanting to reach as far as you can. Yes. You're gonna be rotating in your core. Yes. You're gonna have one foot forward, one foot bent. So, yeah, one foot. Okay. Yes, I got my. I got. I have my foot forward like yours is. My, Alrighty. And I'll bend at the waist. So and I. Your top hand's high. You're reaching far. You're watching your timers that yes. are across from you. Yes. For the rate. Everybody watch your timer. I'm watching my timer. I'm also listening to the timer in my ear, known as producer Heather. She says we have to wrap up this segment for now. But of course. Brenda, Ashley, Chris, we will have more with the Wilson High Dragon Boat team next hour as they prepare for the Rose Festival Dragon Boat races this weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. Back to you. you. I think you're settling in. Mm -hmm. You're looking good, Drew. He's, he's going to be hurting. Yeah, he is. He's so bad. Thank like you. Such a yeah. good workout. <laughs> he's doing a really good job of keeping his yeah, he, air so that he can, maybe he's he not working talk. hard enough. Oh, calling him oh. out. Oh, he's still paddling, though. I don't know. Harder. <laughs> faster. Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh oh. Angry Drew is going to make an appearance. <laughs> cut, cut. Thank you, Drew. <laughs> you can head out to the waterfront this weekend to watch the Dragon Boat races. It's always one of the most popular Rose Festival events. Drew Carney is out on the Willamette River this morning. He's hanging with the Wilson <laughs> High School team as they get ready for the big day. And, oh, he's taking a break. He's pausing from paddling. Yes. Look at, peeking Taking up. a break from the paddling just so we can see some of the great faces that are joining us here on a Thursday morning. We have the Wilson High Dragon Boat team with us. At least half the team is here filling up two boats because they will have two boats in the water this weekend as well. Boat number two just to the right of me this morning. Uh, the two boats manned by Wilson High are known as Green Wave and sea chickens. Some sea chickens. <laughs> and uh, among those in the boat with us are Wilson High seniors. If you're a senior, raise your paddle proudly in the air this morning. Woo! You can see among those seniors raising their paddles in the sky would be Molly right next to me on this Thursday morning. So Molly, you told us that you woke up, or shall I say the last time you were asleep, was a little more than 24 hours ago. Huge day yesterday. Tell me about it. Well, I woke up in the morning and then I went to graduation and I finished my lower education. And then uh, <laughs> we went to our grad party and it was great. Shout out to the Oregon sure, Spirit. Yeah. Um, and now we're on a boat. <laughs> because you haven't gone to sleep since. No, I haven't. That's a huge day. <laughs> And I still want you to work hard this morning. So let's get back to paddling. How do we start that? You and your teammates can go when ready. Paddlers, sit right. <laughs> <laughs> pa 
paddles up. Take it away. There we go. <laughs> now that we're paddling again, Molly, uh, we have some video we can show. Sky this 8 was eight. just Thank above you. us a few minutes ago, and that's the video from above the Willamette Water, or <laughs> from above the Willamette River, showing us on the water as we paddled with the Wilson High Sea Chickens and Green Wave. Uh, so now I stop paddling because, man, it's hard to talk and paddle at the same time, Molly. <laughs> Let me ask you about the commitment, though. How often during the year are the students out here training on the Willamette? Well, we start April 1st, and we're here um, one, or three times a week, um, twice after school and once Saturday mornings. And we go until the Rose Festival. The Rose Festival is our ultimate destination. So the, the first of April we start, we paddle hard, we train hard for about two and a half months, and it all builds up to this weekend. How competitive will you be out there in the water come Saturday, Sunday? You, are you here for a good time or are you here to win? We're here to win and for a good time. You can do both. Wilson, that's the Wilson way. Okay, <laughs> Wilson way <laughs> is the winning and the fun way. Uh, why do you like to paddle? Why do you like to do this as an activity, Molly? Because it's a sport for the, those who are not athletic. It's the most ridiculous thing. Um, and I appreciate it. I like getting in shape on a dragon. You say it's for the non-athletic. Yeah. Yeah, I we see, all hate running. You see that guy smiling back there behind the camera? <laughs> camera Steve is a big grin on his face. I suppose he's grinning. Brenda, Ashley, Chris, because he thinks, geez, maybe this is a sport for Drew. Is that why you're grinning, Steve? Yeah, good. <laughs> Shut your face this morning. <laughs> Here we go, paddling once more with the Trojans as they get ready for this weekend's Rose Festival Dragon Boat Races. You can check it out from the waterfront Saturday, Sunday, all day, both days, 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. I say, go Trojans to close <laughs> out the morning. Trojans, let me hear you. <laughs> Bravo, awesome. well done. And I love we, that banter between Drew and camera Steve. We've all seen Drew's funny. athletic prowess. <laughs> Stick to the boat, Drew. Oh, he will. You're doing well. He's a land lover, just get back to shore. <laughs>